about nine years ago, we uh, met up at a LAN party. Yeah. Played some video games. It was quite intense. There was much yelling and screaming. Anyway, after that, we've uh, started Tech Syndicate. Or yeah. Raise the world. Nine years later, LAN Syndicate. Team was there. Wendell showed up uh, right at the end and helped come in and save some things. He always has this ability to come in and like see something that no one has thought of and just like, oh, of course it was that. And it's always just something usually that's kind of odd but obvious. Zach came in and he brought us a PA system. That was really awesome. Safe. And we'll be seeing Zach on a lot of future upcoming videos. It'll be great. And you know what? I want to make a special thanks to uh, Jennifer, uh, Gearhead Girl. She is phenomenal. Without her, this event never would have happened. So she was able to facilitate all kinds of things and help us out with giving out of the prizes and, and just making sure everything runs smoothly, dealing with the food trucks. We would have been uh, kind of insane to try to do something like this without her. Um, and then we also had Charlie there who was helping facilitate some of the tournaments and he just was running back and forth from tables making sure the servers were up and running. And that was really important because that's, you know, gaming is what this event was about. Now we, we invited a, a lot of other people to, to come and, uh, you know, hang out because they're members of the community, but they're also people I think a lot of our community members might like to meet. So we, we invited Paul's Hardware, uh, we invited uh, Kyle from Awesome Sauce, Joker was there, um, Timmy Tech, Timmy from Timmy Tech TV. Barnacles made an yep. appearance. Did you fucking record me? Get out of my face! <laughs> okay, so we had uh, a lot of stuff that we really needed for this. I mean, we had a location, which was this really awesome aircraft hangar. It was an old Navy base. Next up, what else do we need? Uh, we were like, okay, now where are people going to set up the computers? So we called uh, like several different uh, rental companies and were like, where can we get... Basically, we needed like 300 tables to, to line up, set up, and... I mean, it was a lot. So, I think we yeah. had... Now we had 120 tables. 120 tables and 240 chairs. And then we gotta have power, so there's a lot of power in the building, but you gotta run it to the tables, and you gotta then you also have to spider it out. So we need spider boxes. You had to get 14 of them. We had three 200 amp circuits coming off of the the circuit breaker in the power closet, and we literally had these giant uh, cam lock cables that came up over the wall, out into the room, and then they were dropped into distribution boxes. The distribution box took that 200 amps and split it out into several 50 amp plugs that we ran ran across the room. This is boring. I, I, I Damn. Done. Let's talk about the knock because the network operation center is the real heart of a LAN party. You got to have network and you've got to run a lot of cables. So first off, what was in the knock? Uh, we basically had a 6509 Cisco. It was probably Way the most overkill. overkill you'll ever have for 250 people. I mean, we could have run this whole thing on just a couple of 24 port switches and it would have been fine. So what we ended up running was two gigabit links from the 6509 to each one of the Linksys. Uh, switches that were on every single table. They had 26 port gigabit switch and we ran two, two gig links out to them and I put them in a link aggregation control protocol or lag ports, which was awesome. So I had basically two gigs running between the central switch and the tables. The thing that we had was bigger than what they used to power QuakeCon. So that's how ridiculous this is and that's how expandable future events could be. And thank you everybody who came out and helped us set up those cables because we got to the point where we're like, okay, we need to run cables from here to there to there to there to there to there and I'm like, You've run cable before, you've run cable before, come here. Put some hands on these things, go. Write this, go. And these guys actually did one of the fastest rollouts. I mean, we only had 12 runs of two cables a piece, but they did it so fast, it was it was ridiculous. And thanks guys for all of that. We had a bunch of guys who were like, hey, uh, you guys need any help? I'm a network system administrator, Kane's a network system administrator. We had like three or four guys over there who all had enterprise level knowledge helping out. So And we were all kind of laughing, because at one point, I think it was, uh, I think it was Max CFM, he was just kind of standing and going there. How many network engineers does it take to fix Comcast? <laughs> All of them. All of them. That's really yeah. And even then, it, it, yeah, it didn't work. It's not happening. Thanks to Steve, actually. Steve OMG. He took my configuration for one of the switches and then copied it to the rest of them and then handed it out to yeah, everybody. Yeah, all through the command line and then he got to play games afterwards. So Steve, dude, thanks a lot for being there. So we had 250 people saturating that network, which is awesome. But then it also caused a lot of problems where people were having issues accessing stuff. So they just said, screw it. We're at a LAN party. We're hanging out with friends. Let's just play games here. Yeah. And screw accessing the internet. Screw Facebook. Screw all that stuff. The most beautiful part of the entire event for me was like Friday and Saturday night around midnight. It's when everyone's kind of chill. They had their beer. They're you know, playing their games and whatever. You look out across the sea of people and like 90% of the monitors had a video game on them. Everyone was gaming. And I was like, that's it. This is it, our gaming event, and everyone's gaming. So that, that was when I felt like this is a success. Let's talk about all the games. We had a bunch of different tournaments, so um, Half-Life was a lot of fun. I jumped in that tournament and got killed. 
severely. CSGO tournament was a bit hectic to get started, you know, find, getting all the stuff downloaded, but uh, after after that did, it was great. Zonotic was amazing because that game runs from a folder and people were just transferring it around, you know, like locally. And we had the guys from EVGA actually with their laptops set up and... Uh running a little Doom tournament. They ran a Doom tournament, and that was pretty awesome. And they give away a bunch of stuff, some motherboards and everything for their Doom tournament, um, and, and you could play it right there on their laptops, ran just fine, because they're running a 980M in, the, in those laptops. So, yeah, thanks to EVJ for hosting that tournament. That was freaking cool. Just, we had, we had a lot of tournaments. Uh, next time, let us know what you guys want to see. Yeah, next time we got to, like, hire, like, one network technician so you can actually game. Because I got to game with the community, and that was the second period where I was like, this feels like a success. People over there are yelling at me and be like, No God, I'm gonna get you! And I was like, Yes! It felt like I was in my friend's giant garage, and that's what I wanted. See, and that's and you you were actually in the midst of it and playing, and I got to sit back and I didn't get to play anything, and I don't feel bad about that, because I get to look back and go, Good. I made all of this happen. I was sitting there for the entire first Friday. I was like, I was just non-stop like pulling my hair out. What? We'll be online in time. We had uh, a bunch of guys show up with a big TV, and I look up there, and there's a bunch of screaming going on, and there's a whole bunch of people around there, and I was like, there's some fun going on up there. And sure enough, Gang Beasts Tournament, that game is just ridiculous. Yeah. A lot of yelling and screaming. We had lots of impromptu Nidhogg tournaments popping up everywhere. Every time I would see one, I'd go get in line. And then a group brought Projector. Yeah, and it was like, can we uh, can we set this up? I'm like, yes. Yes, oh, you, yes can. you can. See that big wall? Just put it right there and make it, knock yourselves out. Have fun with it. So that I was... think they're playing like... It was like Turbo Pac-Man or something. I've never even seen that before. I was like, that is amazing. So they're playing that. They're playing Ge Geometry Wars. We had got a Nidhogg, of course, and then a, uh, a bunch of old, like everything from like, you know, uh, Street Fighter, just a whole bunch of games were being played on the wall. That was freaking awesome. We did have lots of, uh, you know, prizes and tournaments and, and whatnot. We also had some raffles, and I want to say thanks to Adata for throwing in a bunch of stuff for that, uh, you know, RAM and SSDs and everything else. EVGA, they, they really get it. They showed up there with a booth, uh, and they were gaming with us. I mean, Jacob was out there playing games. We were like, he and I were fighting in some, some Mortal Kombat and stuff, so that, that was kind of fun. Uh, Patriot was also there, mm -hmm. uh, throwing in some of their, just a whole smorgasbord of, of good things from yeah. Patriot, the RAM OCZ and OCZ gave us some stuff. Uh, Gigabyte gave us a bunch of stuff to give away. Uh, Cooler Master gave us some stuff to give away. I mean, this was like... Yeah, we actually gave some other stuff away. For, we had a little mini case modding competition, went around and picked some of the best cases and then gave some cases away for that. Uh, we Cooler even Master. Had Deep Cool gave us uh, some things to give away. They and Creative, Deep Cool gave actually. us a ton of stuff, and so did Creative, yeah. And Creative. Creative was like... I was I was really impressed, because I'm like, wait, they're giving us what? Headphones? Wow. Fractal Josh showed up. And uh, he looked around and he's like, damn, awesome community. And he felt compelled in his heart of hearts to go and call up a few other companies, and he put together a full-on computer to give away. It was a great, thanks Josh. I really do appreciate you stopping by. Yeah, it's it's been, it was a crazy, crazy weekend. I had a- Don't ever do it again, you bastard. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's like, it's freaking awesome. Thanks to, uh, you know, Linksys. We were at CES in January, and I stopped in the Linksys booth, and I had a conversation with Vince. He was like, hey, you guys doing anything crazy or awesome? We need to let the community know that we're here for them. And I had a nice long chit chat with him about, yeah, so we're throwing this LAN party. And he was just immediately going, who's providing your switches? <laughs> and I'm like, you are. You are. <laughs> he's like, good. We had another room full of tables and uh, nothing much else other than... People. People. We filled it with a trivia competition. So people, get, we had like, I think I want to say we had like 25. Probably more than that. It was a full room and, and uh, Jennifer was back there doing, you know, reading out trivia questions. We gave away some prizes. People had a ton of fun back there. And then when those tables were clear, we uh, let everybody go in there and play Magic D&D &D, tabletop. Just whatever you wanted to play. And I, I think even, we had a group of like five or six guys that were like pretty much running a D&D &D campaign through the entire event. I think yeah. those are the only people who spent more time playing their D&D &D campaign than on their computer, which I don't really care. I think that's awesome. And depending on the night, I'm like, I might be with those guys. Depends on what the campaign's doing. But yeah, they came up and they were like, hey, you want to be an old guy in a cabin that uh, does not want the, the adventurers to go to the top of the mountain? You just keep saying no. I was like, yeah, I'll do that. So I showed up and I was like, no, I wouldn't go up there. It's too cold, far too cold. Don't do it. You'll, uh, your feet will rot off. I played my role and had a little bit of fun with the community and jumped in a D&D game and I was like, this is freaking awesome. Didn't they end up like throwing you off a cliff or something? Yeah, they threw me down the mountain. <laughs> you bastards. Asshole. What are you rolling? Just okay. a D20. Okay. 20! Whoa! Woo! Okay. Uh, and the next day we had, uh, we had a mall from Dangerous Things show up and I got a RFID implant in my hand, which is kind of so interesting. Did a lot of other people, so did a lot of other people. I was actually really excited because we had a lot of people who were very skeptical, but they wanted to come in and actually watch this happen, and they wanted to ask questions, and it was a lot. It was very educational. And even yeah, at the end of it, they were still like, uh, "Not for me." And I'm like, "Cool." But now you understand it, and I'm, I'm more interested in what we can and cannot do with this, and why 
it's a good idea, why it's a bad idea, all those kinds of things. So it was really cool to have him there. We had, we actually had a couple people who had their, their work badges with them, and they were like, oh, we can go ahead and do this. Beep, yep, this will work. Put it in there and beep, there you go. And now you've got this. And he said as soon as he got back and they tried it at work, he's like, that was so cool. Thanks yeah. all for coming out and, uh, and you know, sticking people in yep. a needle. Well, that's not that bad. And next time we do a LAN party, uh, let us know what kind of stuff you guys want and we'll try to make it happen, whether it's a lecture or someone showing up like this uh, to administer the, some dangerous things. You know, just let us know and we'll see what we can do. Uh, speaking of having people come out, we had food trucks outside. Some great food trucks. I want to say thanks to all of them. Some pretty damn good food out there. So we got a lot of beer, a lot of IPAs. That's what they had. Sorry. And a cider. I like to have a yeah, cider. Yeah. So I, I quite enjoyed that. And uh, one of the thing about all the beer sales, 100% of, of the profits all went to charity. So all in all, we ended up donating around seven thousand uh, dollars to charity. So that's, that's kind awesome. of freaking awesome. Thanks a lot, guys, for for enjoying the beer and donating to charity. I'd also like to point out that due to really weird rules about the greater Seattle and possibly Washington area. Once the food is gone, they have to stop selling beer. So, eat sparingly. I got to sit down, I think it was Saturday night, and just kind of chill out, uh, effectively, in the lounge. We had a, one of our members, uh, he had actually had a suitcase, and he just wrote the lounge on the side of it. And then he, you know, constructed a box, because he had a big CRT, and it was really awesome. You know who you are. Yes, and, uh, you know, it was too. great. We got to sit down, we had a nice long chat, and one of the things that I pointed out was, we're not like some of the other more interesting websites on the internet. People were joking, people were goofing off. Nobody was taking anything too seriously and everybody was just having a good time and everybody got along. Our community's freaking awesome. I mean, we almost teared up, you know, we hug, you know, bear hugs, like, yeah, we did this. But I remember another thing that, we, that happened, you know, seven or eight, nine years ago when we were actually starting to lay some groundwork. We said, you know what? We don't want to pander to the lowest common denominator. We don't want to just do stuff to get hits. We don't need the masses. We want to get people who really just want to learn about the culture um, that's involved in all this and just some really good, smart people. Maybe some people who are a bit disenfranchised by a lot of the things that are happening on the internet. We want to give them sort of a home and a haven where they can come, be themselves, hang out, and just have a good time. Realize that there are other people out there in the world like them. And then we got everyone together in the room and I'm like, wow. So um, this event was a freaking success in my opinion. We're gonna do more. Yeah, so stay tuned uh, for when and where the next one will be. It might be in a town near you. Or See something. you guys there. Goodbye. Okay,